I've been in the Seattle schools for the past 45 years. I have worked in elementary school programs, Title I programs, Head Start, home ec classrooms, worked in special ed classes, and outside in the community-based training programs, as well as working at Seattle Community College with students there in the Maine State program from West Seattle High. I've been at West Seattle High for the last 20-some years. I spend most of my day with 12 students in my classroom in special ed. So, and then I go to other classrooms throughout the building where other students we have. So what was it about them Lennon and Trotsky have in common? So you'd have to go back here and see. Trotsky was exiled again. I work in the classroom with a smaller group of students who come for language arts and math and world history and then they spend their other time off campus at the work experience program at the Stanford Center. There aren't very many people who've worked for over 40 years for Seattle Public Schools and so I, Marguerite brings this wealth of history and purpose that the district's been working on for a long time. So she's been in West Seattle for far longer than I have. She is really an active instructional assistant. She currently oversees all the busing for special ed, which is no small task. So I think there's 19 of them that she manages and makes sure all the kids get home. We look at our students of color who aren't achieving it well. She's historically seen what we've done. She brings that perspective to the building leadership team. She uses it in her classroom to really support kids and help us close the gaps. We're really working to try and push as many of our IEP students into regular classes in an inclusion model. And the IAs follow them and help modify the curriculum or support the behavior, whatever it takes for that student to be successful and to integrate as best as possible into the room. So the benefit of having IAs travel into the classroom is really makes it so the student gets his least restrictive environment. And that's good for everybody. The benefits are really quite remarkable when you get it right and lots of kids can do it and I think we underestimate many of our kids with special needs and what they can truly do with um, the right support such as Marguerite gives. I love what I'm doing and I like the students and the fact that they gained success and many of them have moved on to jobs on their own. Going to work and seeing them have success, that is the biggest part for me. We've always had educators in the family. Well, it started with my late aunt who taught school in um, Baltimore, Maryland, as she was music department head. So I've attended Central Washington University, Seattle Community College, and it's right after that that I was hired by the Seattle schools as a regular employee. I also attended at Seattle University, uh, University of Washington, Seattle Pacific University. Just coming out of high school, before I chose to go to uh, Central, uh, the counselor told me that I, there was no need for me to go to school, go to college. And I told her that I'd have to talk to my parents about it because they're the ones that determined that that was what we would do upon graduation from high school. So she made it very difficult. I finally just confronted her. This is what I'm planning on doing. This is my life. And this is the expectation that my family has, that I would attend college. I experienced some really unusual things when I first arrived at West Seattle High by uh, a few individuals. Uh, one of them was that the uh, principal at that time always called me Mrs. Brown. I, mean, I think for the most part I had pretty good um, track record with interaction with uh, staff, but there were times when there were individual people who just wanted to be mean-spirited and say things to me or tell me I'm just here to clean, that's what my job is. You know, it wasn't hard to do cleaning. I think that back then, I think there was a lot of jealousy about what we had as a family. We had a house that looked over the lake, we had a car, we had TV, we did a lot of different things. And my grandparents were civic leaders. My mother also was very active in the community. My father was responsible for, you know, they had the the trades unions wouldn't hire uh, African American men for pl as plasters, bricklayers, brick masons, glazers, or any of that. that uh, they was really tough back then, but they managed to work. I think that um, because they were community leaders, they expected that we would follow in that. Man they always kept us involved in various community activities with the church and other community social clubs and all. And another uh, kept secret I was a ticket seller in the monorail main gate in Seattle. During the duration of the World's Fair, 
And then they moved me to the gateway section, and I got to see Elvis Presley and meet me at the fair while they were filming that. It was, they walked right by my ticket booth. That was another highlight. She's really wonderful with the kids, and I, I couldn't ask for a better idea. We tend to finish each other's sentences because we've become such great workers together. I, I know I'm really blessed to have her here. Marguerite's been in education for a long time, and uh, my first meeting with Marguerite was when she was president of Seattle Education Association for the IAs. My first experience with bargaining was back in the middle 80s, getting a joint job reclassification for instructional assistants and other paraeducators. And we were successful in getting that roll up of money and job reclassification. There was a big boost for many of our members. Currently I'm on the Children's Fund Committee and I'm on the Elections Committee and on the Minority Leadership Training Program cadre. An NEA at large board director and I am currently an at-large ESP board director with WEA, and I sit on the Seattle board. Marguerite's very creative. She is also a singer, and so she brings that talent into the school and has worked with various groups to help students um, have some choral music here. She's pretty amazing. She has worked with a group of special ed students in choir, and I'm not sure who enjoys it more, Marguerite or the students. She's up there right in there modeling it for them and helping them do it. It's fun to watch. things on the positive side because I figure if I keep a positive uh, outlook and perspective you can gain more in that than being negative and derogatory or combative. She's so active. She's active not just in school but outside of school as well. She supports a lot of the, the clubs that are, are in the community, her community at home and, and in the school itself and has for years. We want to congratulate you for being the ESP of the Year from Washington State. Hey. So.